Right, so here's the um, first example of a galvanic cell question that you might get. Um, galvanic cell question might ask you about, um, give you two half equations or two half cells and say, name all the stuff that everything that you can do about these two half cells. Okay, what I've given you, what I'm doing is saying there's a two half cells, a nickel, a nickel ion, a Fe2 to Fe3 half cell. So what I want to do is draw this um, galvanic cell, label the cathode, the anode, label the oxidation reduction, show you where um, what the overall reaction will be, and try and show you as much information as possible as well, and maybe even look at um, what the voltage you might get from this cell would be as well. So what I'm going to do is quickly always start off with drawing what a galvanic cell looks like. A galvanic cell looks like this, okay, where we have two beakers or two half cells connected with a salt bridge. No matter what the half cell, no matter what it is, you'll always draw it similar to this. Really simple being um, two beakers and two electrodes connected by a wire, with here being the voltmeter up the top. Here I'm going to say I have nickel solid and nickel 2 plus ions, which will be aqueous. Now write down what I have. Because in this cell, I've got a nickel solid and a nickel 2 plus. I can even say this is nickel solid here and this is nickel 2 plus in the solution here. Who knows? But that's what happens anyway. With this one, I've got iron and iron 3. So what I'm going to have is iron 2 plus and iron 3 plus in solution here. This will probably be either a carbon electrode or a platinum electrode because it's not going to be involved in this reaction here. I've got, so I've got Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus. I've also got water here and water here as well, okay? Because water is definitely part of this system because it's in a solution, so therefore I've got water in both of these. These are both going to be liquids, okay? So there's my drawing of what I have. Now what I want to work out is what my reaction is going to be. To do that, I get out my trusty um, electrochemical series and I'll find where it is. Here it is, yeah. electrochemical series. And I try and list or underline or highlight somewhere all the things that I have. And I have a water here. I've got a water here. I've got Fe3 plus and Fe2 plus here. I've got nickel solid and nickel 2 plus. And I've also got water down here as well. Okay, now, how do I know what's going to happen with this thing? What I look for is my diagonal down, um, my diagonal down to tell me which one my which way my reaction is going to be. So my highest oxidant here is iron three plus. My strongest, so this is strong oxidant. This is strong reductant down here. Strong reductant down the bottom there. Okay. My strongest oxidant is iron three plus. My strongest reductant is nickel solid, okay? And I have the slope negative gradient going down, so that means this one is going to go forward, and this one's going to go back, and these are the two reactions I'm going to have in my half cells. So this half cell is going to be Fe3 plus plus an electron negative, goes to Fe2 plus, and this one is going to be Ni solid, it's going to be oxidized to nickel 2 plus plus two electrons negative. And that's from my trusty little, um, what's it called? Um, electrochemical series. Now, I look at this as well, and I say, what's my voltage in this going to be? So I look at the difference between my two, um, two half equations. This one's positive, 77.77. This one's negative, sorry, this one's negative, 0.32, this one is positive, 0.77, so therefore my main difference, sorry I can't see that there, this one's negative 0.23, positive 0.77, so the complete difference between these two is 1 volt. So I'm going to get 1 volt coming out of this. Excuse me, that's the school bell, hopefully I don't get kicked out of this broom. Anyway, one volt coming out of this because of the difference between these two. 
Now, what's going to be my cathode? What's my anode? I say red cat. Red cats are happy, so red cat positive. All right, so reduction is happening at the cathode, which is positive. So which one's reduction? This one's reduction because the left, left ones are on the left. So this is my cathode. This is positive. This is my anode. It's negative. Reaction, electrons flow from the negative towards the positive. So electron flow is going this way. Okay. So therefore, I've labelled and got all the information I needed. I've understood what my voltage is going to be. I know my two reactions, which way they're going to go. I know where my cathode is because that's where a reduction happens. I know which one my anode is because that's where oxidation happens. My cathode is positive. Electrons flow towards the positive, away from the negative. So I've got all the information I need right here within five minutes. And that's me explaining to you in five minutes as well. So if you're going to do this by yourself, I expect about three minutes, question done. All the information that you need.